it's really, really good to know what's happening in the world. And so this website shows you all kinds of things that are at your reading level that you might like to know about. Right here, there's a section called War and Peace. So if we click on that, it's going to tell us what's happening if there's war or things going on with peace. So here's some of the latest things that just happened this week. Here's one talking about Syrian refugees in Lebanon and that it's not a winter wonderland because of all the snow. Here's one that talks about the Pope. He was chosen person of the year. And how many of you like science? I thought so. She was right. So here's the latest and greatest of what's happening in science. So there's also one called Kids. If you were to read one, which one looks the most interesting? Yes. Yeah. The first one, when parents are too harsh, their children's brains may suffer. Yeah, every one of you wants to go home and tell your parents that, right? <laughs> Don't be harsh on me, my brain might suffer. What one looks interesting to you? Most who take free online courses don't finish them because I've taken online courses and I've never really like, finished them. You've never finished them? Yeah. So you've started them. What kind of online courses have you taken? Um, code Academy. Oh, cool. Learning how to code. Excellent. There's money. <coughs> there's law. There's health. And there's the arts. All right. So go ahead, take out your iPads and open up Safari. Go ahead and click on Safari. And we'll create an icon on your homepage too, because I have a feeling you're going to be using this pretty often. So if you'll go ahead and click on register, and the first thing you need to do is put in a code. For today, we're going to be doing something with the one on the Arctic ice, maybe changing the way hurricanes move. And then in the future, you'll have the opportunity to do different articles. And so here's our end goal. Are you guys ready to know what we're going to do with it? We're actually going to use a, an app called Tag Cloud. And Tag Cloud lets you make um, word cloud. Okay, so what's our plan? What are the two main things we're going to do um, today? Yes? Right, you're going to do Tag Cloud. Learn how to create a word bubble or word cloud. What else? We're going to learn about the art, this one article about how the art is affecting Exactly. So you guys are going to really learn about this article and what's happening in the world. And you're going to be the experts and then you'll be sharing that. We have some choices. The first one says make a tag cloud from a web page. We don't want to do that. Even though we're going to the web to get our information, we're not going to do that. We're going to do <laughs> the second one is make a tag cloud with custom tags. So you can go in, put in some words. And if a word shows up more than once, it's going to be bigger. I'm going to go to my counter roll and show you an example. I showed the students a word cloud that I'd already created using one of the news articles on Newzella. We looked at the words that showed up larger and discussed that those were words that were written more than once in the news article. That way, they could see what the article was about just by looking at the larger words. Next, I showed students how to highlight the text on the news article that we were reading from the Newzella website. We started at the bottom and moved all the way up to the top. Some of the students had no experience in copying and pasting before, so we wanted to be sure and show that to them. I started by having them select some of the text at the bottom and then showed them how to use their finger to drag all the way up to highlight all of the text. After I highlighted all of the text in the article, I clicked on copy to save it to the clipboard. After copying and pasting their words, they chose a style that they would like for their tag cloud. When they were through making their tag cloud, we read the words together that were on the graphic organizer. Ready, begin. Copy and paste the news article into tag cloud. Create a word cloud and write the largest words in the box. These are the words that are written the most times in the news article. All right. So in
in this box, you are to write the words that show that biggest on your tag cloud. So I'll give you a couple of minutes. Go ahead and do it now. Students wrote down the words that showed up the largest on their word cloud. These words showed the main idea of the news article. What we're going to do now, we need to go to the article because if we're going to make a movie on this article, we've got to be experts on what it says, right? If you were to go home today and your parents were saying, Michael, what did you learn at school today? And you could say, well, I read this really cool article about something that's happening with Arctic ice. And they ask you about it, you have to know what it says. Now, you can click save, but you also need to click share because when you click on share, that's how it gets saved to your camera roll. And if you're going to be putting this into your movie, click share. And where it says photo library, if you hear the words photo library, and sometimes you hear the words camera roll, they're a synonym for each other, okay? They're synonyms. So sometimes they call it camera roll, sometimes they call it photo library. Just know that they're the same thing. So be sure and click on photo library. And it's saving it now to your photos, and you'll be able to see it there, okay? Make sure you click on Safari, it should already be open. And I can just tap anywhere on the white to get rid of my highlight. I don't need that anymore. Okay, so let's do this. Let's see how many main headings there are. And then I'm going to give you a few minutes to read over one of the sections, and then we'll come back together and share what we what we place. If you're having trouble reading the article, you can always go down to 750, and it'll make it a little bit easier for you know that you know if this is super easy for you to read, you can even bump up the Lexiles. Okay, I know we got some really fantastic readers in here. So, but for now, let's stay on 8.30, or if you're having trouble, you can go down to 7.50. And then the last group, if you will look over Hurricane Helper. So you guys are going to read the last part of it. Now you're going to go, well, it might not make sense because you didn't hear the first part, but I think it'll help us with what we're doing today. Does everybody know what to read? Okay, here's what we're going to do now. The group that did the first part, that was this whole table group right here. If you look up here on the computer or you're looking at your iPad, what was it about? Can anybody tell us? Trenton, and then we'll have you join us. It was about how um, when, ice is, when ice is formed, it has to lose heat, so the heat goes up, and when the heat mixes with the airstream, it pushes the airstream southwards. Which, um, and then it talks about how that can affect hurricanes and the directions they travel in. Excellent. Do you see any words written in this first section that were on your list of words in the box? What did you find? Hurricane. 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 Okay. So I'm going to look for the word hurricane. Do you see it up here? Can you come yeah. show it? Right there. Okay. Next, we looked for words that were found on their graphic organizer and highlighted them using a tool that I didn't really need to use. I was using markup, but right on Newzella, you can highlight the words as long as you're using a computer. Scientists, if you were just going to take a short little snippet of a sentence that include the word scientist, what would you say? Next, we took one of the main idea words and made a short phrase that told something that was happening in the news article. We wanted it to be shorter than a complete sentence, and we wanted the words to be powerful and to convey a message. As I wrote the words on the board, the students wrote them on their graphic organizer. We did it together for the first time just to show them how it's done. After this, they'll do it on their own. We have to use powerful words because we're not going to use a lot of words and it's not going to be a long movie, so you have to choose your words very, very carefully, okay? Make sure that you can get from the web that you can put back on the web. You know, normally you can't just take any picture off the web and put it on in a project because it's copyrighted. But there are certain sites that have allowed you to take their pictures and use them in your projects. So I'm going to show you a few of those today and we'll mark them on your home screen so that you'll know how to search for pictures. The first website that I took students to to find copyright free images is called pixforlearning.com. 
I showed students how to search using Pics for Learning. Then they went in and searched for pictures that they could add to their camera roll. Another great site to get pictures for web projects is the Creative Commons site, commons.wikimedia.org slash wiki. The next time I got together with the class, they worked on putting their pictures together with their powerful words that they had created, either in big words or drawing pad, or they could actually put the words right into Animoto or iMovie as a title. The first thing they had to have was a title. Next, they had to have their word cloud. After that, they were to put a picture that they'd found online or drew. And next, they could put their powerful words, another picture, more powerful words, picture, powerful words. We kept alternating back and forth between the picture and the words. And then their very last slide needed to be the same word cloud that they had after their title. The whole movie should only last about 30 seconds. Some were a little bit longer. We also added music that came from either Animoto or the themes from iMovie. And there it was, the world in about 30 seconds. The goal was to have students create a different one each week. So when they showed these on Friday, they would be aware of all of the current events that were happening throughout the world that week.